Matrix 0.2.45.15357. There is gonna be another fish in Friday if I'm not wrong. Anyways, how many of these can we push out? I really do not know anymore. But there we are again with some fixes for you guys. Again, by the way. Fix the bug where you can throw items while in the vehicle. I didn't even know that that's a thing. But hey, get it, there you go. Last patch, they disabled the melee so puppets cannot hit you when you're inside of a vehicle or anyone else when you're inside of a vehicle. So people were probably standing AFK in the side of a vehicle and throwing items out. This community, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. With fixing one bug, this community found another one. Fix flag recipes. All flag recipes spawned the same flag. So this is the the flag. Now we have the another one also. Blue color of the flag. Holy shit, man. If you want your base to be very, very stealth, you know what to do. Does this color exist in real life, dude? It hurts my fucking eyes. Okay, we have a blue one. I like this one. I do not know why. Maybe because we are ex... Uh, what is the name? Communist country or because it is the the, the color of Skradiet. Yeah, I definitely do prefer, prefer the first one. And first one is actually the only flag that, it, that has uh, some kind of a logo on. No doubt. It looks beautiful. Fix minor problem with the female and male idol animations. Okay, maybe the, the animations were skipping or something. Fatal error crash. Wait, wait. Who, who is who is CP? Okay, CP. CP, you are on the test number two. Trial number two. So far, I can understand everything. Fatal error crash is history. Not sure what this one wants to say, but it is lying. After the hotfix, I was playing around six hours and I crashed zero times. So there we go. Crashes are fixed. We're gonna figure it out, I guess, eventually. Is game still crashing or not? Fix the bug with the overlapping base flag areas. Flag areas cannot overlap anymore. So basically this right here, this blue border, they cannot overlap anymore. You literally need to be outside of the other flag area to build another flag. Punching while running shouldn't regenerate stamina anymore. How did they figure that one out? I wonder. How did they figure that one out? That motherfucking uh, bug is in the game since the beginning of the early access. He rocked it, comes back, they fucking fix it. Dude. Fix the bug where the barbed wire couldn't be repaired. Nobody was even using that shit, right? We are, we are still all uh, wooden pole junkies. If you are not wooden pole junkies. I would strongly recommend you to become one of us. Tweaking driving skill, engine stalling greatly reduced on no skill and the basic skills. So they buffed it. They buffed it a little bit so you're not that desperate without our driving skills. Engine stalling should never occur on a medium skill and above. Lower skills have lower acceleration to compensate for the reduced engine stalling. Before, if you didn't have great driving skill, you had a problems with turning on the vehicle, which means if your driving skill sucked, aka no skill and basic, it was much, much easier to kill a car stealer. Right now, it is gonna be harder because it is gonna be easier for them to start the engine. Although, if you have higher skill, it is gonna be easier for you to escape because acceleration of the vehicle is gonna be much, much greater. Okay, this is no skill. Okay, I get it, I get it. It is gonna be easy for you to start the vehicle, but changing the gears are gonna screw you up. I like it. It seems like 62 is a cap. Okay. And this is the advanced. It is already on 62. It is already on 62, dude! 
and you can drive it is not just acceleration you can drive it twice as fast when you have a high driving skill but look at the acceleration dude look at this already on the max already on the max of that guy oh no skill this is cool i actually like that much much better uh implementation than uh car randomly shutting off reduce damage on the impact for quad also improved the driving mechanic for the better gameplay experience okay maybe they increased the handling yeah they definitely increased the they definitely buffed the handling definitely i would already be doing this yet. this is advanced Maybe it's a little bit too strong, huh? I mean, it is gonna be definitely easier for you to drive the quad right now. I'm not the quad specialist, okay? And damage reduction is definitely lower. Okay! <laughs> Disabled building base elements in the unfriendly flag area! You better give me RPG and Friday or I'm gonna lose my f***ing shit, dude. If you cannot build on the unfriendly flag area, you cannot get it. I mean, you can with the lockpicks, but good luck with that one, man. So at the moment, the only way how to get inside of the unfriendly area is lockpicking. Which means you're gonna have to break all of the locks until you find a flag and then place your own locks to defend that base. Because if you place the flag after them, base is wide open and they can enter inside and destroy your flag that was inside of their base and then... Here. Allow the building uh, flags inside of the cabins and on top of other base elements. So now all of the cabins have that access to build the flags inside. That's actually great, great, powerful way to defend your base. If you want the base, you're gonna have to break through the last, the last locks. Change ordering of clothes in the GUI. Edit progress widget when destroying base elements with a drone. Oh, this, huh? <laughs> I do not know if you guys have seen. I honestly do not think that you guys have seen what I have done to our base. Is there any clip? Chat? Did somebody clip it? So this is what happened on the actual server. They cannot get out. Basically. That's the concept of the base. And this is our storage right here. I f***ing destroyed my our uh, cabin, dude. You moron! What? I destroyed our cabin, dude. It is not just that I destroyed my cabin. I destroyed triple golden locks. I destroyed nine sandbags because you cannot build a cabin in, mid in, the in between. So we had to destroy sandbags. And while destroying sandbags, if you do not destroy top one first, top one, middle one, bottom one, if you go destroy bottom one first, you're gonna destroy the foundation also. So we destroyed the foundation twice after that, and then we had to move all of those chests. It was... It was beautiful. I think that is the reason with, with this right here. <laughs> I think. Enabled flag claiming over or less base elements. Oh, that is it. It's enabled, now I can go base raid. I'm not gonna spoil way too much because everyone is gonna start to build like that and then I will not be able to break inside of our bases. You're gonna figure it out. Watch the goddamn video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, you're gonna figure it out. So now it is actually implemented. That's what we were saying before. We added a change to the flags and how they work. So from today, when you enter someone's base and destroy the flag, the elements of that base still belong to the person who built them. Now you need to craft a flag after you destroyed the old one to make the base yours. And I do completely agree with that one. Before, uh, the base was completely ownerless, 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 ownerless. But now you actually need to, like it is gonna be like idle stage. It is still his until somebody builds a flag. You build a flag, boom, everything is wide open. I wanted to implement a uh, mom joke here, but... I, I won't. Edit possibility to have high priority loading for the certain items in the virtualization. This means 
that some bigger items uh, like shelter tents bb elements will load sooner than smaller items chests etc for a smoother gameplay transition feeling they are talking about those spike legs when something is loading in and loading out now things have the priority so basically performance boost okay so i'm giving uh, cp i'm gonna give him seven out of six out of ten nah, six out of ten he still needs to pro prove us he still needs to prove us six out of ten six and a half six plus and out of ten okay and for the patch since it is not sponsored stream and they're not paying me i'm gonna give nine out of ten the only thing that i dislike is handling of the cars i think handling should be a little bit more slippery you have a feeling like you are driving the planet on top of the planet how heavy it is how heavy it feels it especially atvs okay let's fucking raid huh let's start with the goddamn raiding <laughs> 